we've got too many chiefs here and not enough Moroccans. So d there'll be just one Moroccan who's in charge today, in case it all goes so up and then I'll get the blame for it. Basically, there's going to be a march today by the BNP, and I just want to say that we're not here to preach about our views or, you know, whether it's the right thing to do or not the right thing to do. We're here to run a railway, and our job is to make sure that our stations are safe for anybody that wants to use them, okay? It just happens to be today, BNP. It's St George's Day, and station manager Saeed Otmani is expecting a far-right demonstration to come to Bermondsey. It's Saeed's job to make sure the demonstrators leave the station safely, regardless of their views. Let's put it this way, I support Crystal Palace. I can't say all the Millwall supporters can't travel on the underground. So my politics are my politics, and everybody's got right to express their views. And um, I think it's a nice thing that everybody can do that. The messages are not nice. But then, I haven't got to like it. I just run a station. Running a station can put underground staff in a vulnerable position. Two months ago, station supervisor Matt Gagliardi was assaulted at work. Matt, thank you for coming in. Thank you. Please take a seat. Ron, thank you for coming. OK, Adolf. Matt's come back for the first time since the attack to discuss it with his manager and his trade union representative. First of all, how are you feeling at the moment? Uh, not too good. Uh, I still keep on having uh, flashbacks to the incident. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite traumatising. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels quite lonely the way I'm feeling at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you've been going to uh, learn under a occupation of counselling sessions. Yeah. How many have you attended so far? Two so far Two since so the far. incident. Okay. Uh, normally between four to six sessions. Right. I have found the counselling sessions quite helpful. Mm -hmm. We've gone through a lot of issues. Not necessarily talking about the incident, but the way I'm actually feeling. Uh, I just feel sorry for my wife. I mean, this is the third time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been on the job 15 mm -hmm. years now. It's the third time she's received a call from the office saying Matt's been assaulted. Mm. I want to get back to be the normal me. I mean, I'm always outgoing, I'm happy, happy at work. But at the moment, it just feels that I've been uh, dealt a blow. It's been hard to come back from. Uh, my sleep has been quite erratic at the moment. I'm dealing with that issue at the moment. Ron Howe represents the RMT union at Matt's station. He's worried about the effects of this kind of incident on underground staff. I've been on the job now 27 years and in the last few years we've seen quite a decline in behaviour and I'm quite concerned. Myself, I've been threatened with a, a gun uh, a few years ago now at Neasden where they uh, had an armed robbery on the booking office. Uh, colleagues at Wembley, several colleagues have been involved in incidents. Uh, one last year, one of my colleagues was involved in an incident where it turned out into a murder charge. Uh, you've only got a look at the board here, which shows you the amount of sickness we have on this group. While Matt's been off sick, a new uniform has arrived at the station. <laughs> new uniform, hopefully it'll give me a fresh start to put all the previous experiences behind me, or the bad ones anyway. And uh, I'll go home and try it all on, see if it fits. Hopefully it does, I haven't put on too much weight. And... A few weeks' time, she'll come back to work with a new uniform on. We've been doing campaigning over the last couple of years since a young lad up there, Russ Parker, was stabbed, kicked to death by Asian youths in that area by anyone in Peterborough. The marchers arrive outside the station. Saeed is not impressed. Antisocial behaviour, isn't it? Loitering. Why aren't they, why aren't, why aren't they moving? That's what I want to know. Are they just going to sit there or what? OK. To protect the public, Said has decided to provide two empty carriages to take the demonstrators to Westminster. He calls on staff further up the line. Basically, what we'd like you to do is to have a member of staff on the westbound platform not to, uh, well, to encourage people not to use the last two carriages because they'll be full of BMP. I'd want a member of staff to travel in on the train. What's happened before is when we've taken people off the last two carriages, they've tended to walk through and then they've suddenly were faced by a group of BMP, you know, and they thought they had an empty carriage to themselves. We won't know the exact times or exact train until uh, we actually get them on the train, but we will ring you, the control operator will ring you to say what train number it is. Okay, 
Thanks very much. Have a good day now. Bye bye. But while he's organizing the train, Hello. Saeed receives a worrying yeah. message. We had a, a guy, Afro, who's got a samurai sword. There's a report of an Afro Caribbean gentleman traveling around the network with a concealed samurai sword. Well, maybe, I mean, we're just looking at worst case scenario. Maybe he's just going to a, French I don't know, a Kung Fu ca convention or something. You know? <laughs> but Saeed is sufficiently concerned to call network control for more information. You don't know where he might be traveling to, do you? He wouldn't be coming to Bermondsey, would he? It'll be the next train coming in on the westbound for them. With the demonstrators expected in the station imminently and concerned about a man on the underground with a samurai sword, the staff and police at Bermondsey prepare for the worst. No, Jagger, that's right. Fine right, boy. I've had to ask for help because there's so many different <laughs> corridors here. Down that way is like a rabbit's den. Oops. It's all right, Jagger. Any station staff? Always ask for assistance because I did once fall onto the track years ago. What trains? Are they running all right, the trains? Oh, good. You've got to know where you're going and you've got to be aware of what's going on around you because you've got the pickpockets and uh, the drunks that hang around on the, on the platforms. Yeah, we are a sitting target, but you, you, don't, you don't go out and think about it because if you did that, you wouldn't go anywhere. Bob Thorogood is visiting a factory in Derby, where London Underground has commissioned a refurbishment of the district line rolling stock. He hopes it will help protect drivers from being attacked. All of the glass in the cab will now be brought up to what is effectively bullet resistant windows, which means that the chance of a brick coming through, which is some of the problems we've had, as you know, down the east end of the line, is going to be considerably reduced. Back in London, Mark Pryor is managing another part of Bob Thorogood's programme to protect the drivers. We got together with the unions and um, we looked at the areas what needed doing, and this is one of the major ones. We've actually tested it out, and if you start throwing, you know, the trains there, if, if you start throwing, it'd be like a hand grenade, it sort of go over the train. They're not, they're not actually going to hit the train, you know, the windows look like they were before. But um, I think it's going to work very well. The union is satisfied by this package of measures and the strike is called off. Hi, Saeed, duty manager Bermondsey. Just to let you know, it's train 305 coming towards Hello, you on the westbound. Hi, uh, the yeah, last two carriages, if we can just have a member of staff there saying not to use the last two carriages. Back at Bermondsey, the man with the samurai sword has not arrived. Side is expecting the demonstrators to enter the station any minute. The train has arrived with two empty carriages as requested. Okay, listen, listen. Hi, hi. Signal green, okay. The demonstrators are successfully segregated from the other passengers, and Saeed's job is almost over. Yeah, when I'm on my way back. At the last minute, the demonstrators decide to get out at Waterloo instead of Westminster. Okay. All of them are getting off here, which is brilliant. Right, three level. Yeah, we'll go with them. Yeah, would you make sure the guys uh, on the gate lines are aware that these uh, people are coming up and that you just have the gates open for them, over? OK, they're on their way up now. Said orders staff to get the demonstrators straight out of the station. For once, revenue is not an issue. Uh, would you please just plunge the gates on the Jubilee gate line? That'll be the quickest way, then we'll be getting rid of them, over. Once the demonstrators leave the station, Side's job is over. That's good. I'm happy now.
Since Matt was assaulted in his office, suspects have been caught, and he's finally back at work. Would you like to come through here? After the assault, I felt quite bad, but I received some counselling. And I'm glad to be back at work, to do what I'm paid to do, run the station and look after the customers. Next time, an emergency stops the Metropolitan Line. Five minutes, gentlemen, five minutes. And at Neasden Depot, they're frightening off the pigeons. The gladiators will be stomping onto your screens at six this evening for a brand new battle in a classic Saturday night telly feast. And then from seven, we're dedicating two hours to revisiting some of the best bits from Lion Man.